we go. Welcome everyone, Stel here, Binge and Emotional Eating Recovery Specialist. And today I have one of my special clients, Sharon Kay, here with me. She's going to share a little bit about her journey uh, with me so far. So welcome, Sharon. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for joining today and sharing a little bit of your experience. Um, I know this is sometimes quite um, a hard thing to do. So I'm super grateful that you are ready to just hop on and come and chat to us and anyone who's thinking about possibly, you know, starting that journey and taking that first step. So, so welcome. It's a, well, it's a healthy journey. So it's a good thing. Beautiful. So tell us just a little bit, um, what was life like for you before you started working with me um, in the control over eating program? I would make promises to myself that I could handle my stress and I wouldn't binge eat or um, my thing was going in the car and going to several um, drive throughs and then hide the bags and the garbage pail. Nobody would know. I knew. It's kind of like I'm ashamed of it. Um, I also found out by going with Estelle and her program to look at why I'm doing what I'm doing and to work through those feelings. And she has provided me with several techniques to practice to help me go through it instead of binging, so. Oh, amazing. And what made you decide to, uh, you know, reach out to me and uh, book that initial call? Because I know that's sometimes the hardest thing to do. I like the sound of your voice. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's very calming to me. I felt like you generally, generally, I'm not speaking well, that you really not only appear to care, but you do care. Um, I felt like I have a good connection with you. I had to do something and I was tired of not knowing what to do. So when you came along and you were very reasonable in, in what you charge for what you provide that and you also have a great support group you know oh, thank you so much that that means a lot I think there's a lot of people who kind of you know think about it but then they you know too afraid of being judged or too afraid of you know what I might think when we hop on that call and you know it's good to know that you you actually took that step and thank you for sharing and um so just generally, I think a lot of people kind of want to understand, well, um, you know, what the journey has been like for you. So how did things evolve for you? Is there maybe one or two aha moments that you would like to share with us? No. Oh. I have several aha moments. <laughs> Am I perfect? on what my journey? No, absolutely not. But the one thing I don't have is the guilt and the shame. And I've had a major reduction in the binge eating. Um, it's really about loving yourself because when we binge, we're really hurting ourselves. Um, an aha moment. It's not so like black and white to answer. There's so many levels of grayness to it. Um, I could tell you that I know it came from my upbringing mm -hmm. to be my perfectionism, being perfect, trying to be a people pleaser. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. It's just impossible. The best thing you can do is really take care of yourself. And then you can help other people if you can do it. And it's okay to say no. Yes. I think the hard part is having that negative reaction from people when you say, I, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Mm. Mm. And they don't want to hear that. 
or sometimes right. we think they don't want to hear that and that's why we right. force ourselves to go through that so thank you for or i feel like i'm letting them down when yes. it's not a good thing for me <laughs> you have to think about these you know there are certain boundaries and there are certain limits and oh the other aha moment the being mindfulness the slowing down enjoying my food instead of inhaling it and feeling my belly that it's full and i'm not going to starve i'm not going to be like i don't know how to explain it like not get enough food mm. you know, making that brain stomach connection is it's 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 amazing to have that yeah absolutely it's, it's such a an awakening almost when you actually like oh my gosh there is mm -hmm. like such a good connection there and um did you want to share one or two changes you've noticed within yourself since being on this journey um instead of reacting i was like i was slowing down to, and respond or that's, I have so many things to think about. <laughs> I think I'm being kinder to myself. That's number one. Um, repeat the question again. Some positive changes that you've noticed. I have so many. <laughs> Um, I think I'm a lot calmer. Um, I'm drinking a lot more water. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, I'm preparing my meals and making them healthy. And I'm starting to think about the nutrition of the meals. Positive. Yeah, we've definitely seen just um, a, an absolute reduction in your binge episodes. And yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> you feel so much better about those as well. Like, you know, um, which is amazing. I feel like I'm in more. See, if I say control, I don't want to sound, make it sound like restriction. It's yeah. not. Mm. It really is not. It's more of a freeing feeling in the reduction. Yeah. Well, I don't have you. those feelings of shame. Yes. Oh, that's, that's, yeah. And, you know, as we work through this, you know, I can see every week that you just feel feeling lighter and lighter, not like more like emotionally, you know, it's just like mm -hmm. a weight lifted off your shoulders. So thank you so much for sharing. Is there anything, uh, any advice you want to give to anyone out there who are thinking about contacting me or thinking about working with me? Take the first step. I mean, Estelle, you have, you have been wonderful. And I'm not just saying that because I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not like a paid advertisement. We'll put a little disclaimer here. <laughs> you know, really. Um, I, you have such great insight and you're probably one of the best coaches I've ever had. You know, I've got results with you. Mm, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining uh, me today and just sharing um, your experience. And if you guys are watching at home, um, wherever I post this, please give Sharon a big, thumbs up and I like to give her some support. This is a brave step for her. So <laughs> thanks Sharon for joining. <laughs> Bye. Bye.